What you just witnessed is the holy grail of lazy layouts. Grid out of it. Now, let's head back in time a little bit and I'll show you how this cool feature actually works. Here we have a collection of products on our homepage. Next, we're going to select the product list and we're going to set the display property to grid. Here we can set the gap between the columns and the rows and I'm going to set this to two rams and I'm going to click on this lock so it's both between rows and columns. Next, we want to delete all of the columns and all of the rows except for one. We're going to click on the first column and I'm going to click on min max. Here, I can adjust the minimum value and the maximum value. In this case, I'm gonna set the minimum value to 15 RAM and watch what happens if I click out of it. Out of it, we'll try to fit as many columns as possible into our grid. Each column will be anywhere between 15 RAMs and one fractional unit. Now, watch what happens now if I resize the screen. You can see here that our grid is fully responsive out of the box. If there's not enough space for a column, the item will simply get wrapped into the next row. Now, what if we wanted to change the number of columns? We simply have to click here on the grid and set the minimum value to a higher number. In this case, setting the minimum value to 20 rams will do the trick. Once I'm happy with my grid, I'm going to hit publish and that's it. Now, what if we wanted these last two items to span across the whole width like so. Well, to learn that, you're gonna have to watch our next video.